The Samsung Galaxy S8 and the new Google Pixel 2 are among the very best camera smartphones on the market. But how does the Galaxy S8's 12 megapixel f1.7 camera compare to the Pixel 2's 12 megapixel f1.8 camera, which also has a couple of neat tricks, including a selfie portrait mode and also the use of OIS and EIS for video stabilization. First impressions are, it's kind of hard to tell them apart. They both take exceptional photos, really bright, vivid, and detailed. But you can see the colors on the S8's photo are a little bit more vivid than Pixels, especially if you look at the pink awnings on the boat at the bottom left. But if we zoom in five times, there's a bigger difference. If you look at the is it spokes, I guess, on the Millennium Wheel at the top left, you can see that they're really aliased and fuzzy on the S8 shot, whereas on the Pixel 2, they're smooth. Moving on to a picture of the underground, again, they both look very similar. So again, if we zoom in five times, the Pixel 2 actually appears to handle the dynamic range of colors and the distance a bit better. I can actually just about make out Queen's Park on the Pixel 2, which is accurately yellow, whereas on the S8, it's just a blown out white mess. And even on the side nearer to it, I can make out South Bank is to my left on the Pixel, but that's completely blown out on the S8, which suggests the Pixel 2 has better dynamic range. Now there's a lot going on in this shot, and you can see first of all that the clouds on the Pixel 2 have some detail, whereas they are completely blown out, the highlights are blown out on the S8 shot. The Pixel 2 also handles the motion blur of the bus much better. It's visibly blurred on the S8, whereas it's pretty much all in focus on the Pixel. In this picture of the underground escalators, the Pixel 2 once again seems to reproduce more natural colours with cleaner whites versus the slightly yellowy tinted S8, but again, it's a fairly subtle difference. This is definitely one of my favorite photos I've taken so far. There's a lot going on. If we start with the clouds, the S8 does seem to offer a more naturally white gray cloud, whereas the Pixel 2 is very blue. But then if we zoom in, I think the color on the guy's jacket is a bit more natural on the Pixel. And also then if we look at his hair, which is a bit of a mess, but look how much more detail it is on the Pixel versus the S8. If you look at the bulb, the filament on the Pixel 2, there's so much more detail there. It's not blown out nearly as much as the S8. And it's a similar story. Once again, the Pixel 2 offers more natural, realistic colors, whereas the oranges on the S8 are just blown out of proportion. If you look at the color of my shirt, so much more realistic on the Pixel 2. But things seem to change when we look at some nighttime shots. Just look how much noise there is in the clouds on the Pixel 2's photo versus the S8. They're both a bit noisy, the highlights in the background are blown out a little bit, but I think in this nighttime shot, the S8 takes just a little bit of a nicer picture. Another nighttime shot of the BFI IMAX in Waterloo. If you look at the top, you can see the Pixel 2 is a lot noisier. This could be because it's got a slightly narrower aperture, f1.8 versus the S8's f1.7, but that shouldn't make a huge difference. So there's pros and cons for each, but what sways me is if you look at the uh, writing on the actual uh, IMAX itself, you can read that much more clearly on the Pixel 2. It's a little bit blown out on the S8. I've got one last nighttime shot for you before we move on to something else. And straight away, look at the clock on Big Ben, which is unfortunately kind of obscured by some scaffolding, but you can read the time on the Pixel 2, but you can't so much on the S8. Now I have to say I'm not a big fan of selfies, but I've got to test the front facing camera. And this is taken on the Galaxy S8 with believe it or not, all the beauty modes turned off. It's as natural, as crisp as I could possibly get it. And it still looks pretty blurry and smoothed out and fake. It's, I'm not really a fan of it. And this is where the Pixel 2 really comes into its own. It has a new selfie portrait mode, which obviously is artificially giving you a depth of field bokeh effect. Can be a little bit cheesy sometimes, it doesn't always work perfectly, but personally, I do quite like it and it really adds something to your selfies. And finally, let's talk about video. They both shoot up to 4K 30. There's no 4K 60, unfortunately, like the iPhone 8. And straight away, it's kind of hard to tell the difference, actually. The Galaxy S8 uses OIS, whereas the Pixel 2 uses OIS and EIS. So as I walk down the street, I'm sure you'll agree the Pixel 2 on the right looks a lot smoother. You can really feel my footsteps on the S8, whereas the Pixel 2 is almost like it's on a gimbal. It's pretty cool. On the Pixel 2, you can once again read what's on the sign halfway down the platform. On the Galaxy S on the left, not so much. It's a little bit more blown out. And finally, video shot at night time, where actually the S8 really comes out on top. Just look how noisy and grainy the Pixel 2's video is. So I'd say the S8 wins in terms of nighttime video.
So where does that leave us? Well, the good news is that whichever camera you have or whichever phone you buy, you can't go wrong with either. They both have terrific cameras. But the Pixel 2, I think, just comes out on top. But I'm keen to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Click on the poll at the top right to vote for which one you thought was best. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat. Thanks for watching.